Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 29, 2021. Yeah, if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over here in Ether where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have been just trading sideways the last two, three trading days, and uh, we have been in a really tight range here for the last uh, week and a half. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are... Well, MACD is flat and uh, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish and the uh, um, RSI is also bullish, but on the edge of being overbought. So pullbacks could be expected and they will most likely find major support down here at 4,129. If that breaks, then we have all the way down here at 4,000, give or take, which is the bottom of the bullish band and also the 50 moving average. And that should be massive support in the downside. We are in uptrend and uh, pullbacks towards the 2050 have been bought into for basically a really, really long time. We have to go all the way back to where this start, all started. This is back in April last year. We have basically been trending. Of course, we have had major pullbacks, but we have been in a steady uptrend for basically an entire year. And the uh, Federal Reserve has decided basically to to uh, not change their interest rates and uh, that will be even more bullish for uh, this market as uh, there will be basically uh, easier to get loans and uh, uh, and liquidity will basically increase in this market and that usually is a very bullish sign for its markets. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has uh, basically been trending slowly towards the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators for the Dow Jones are fairly bearish. We're still in uh, bullish territory in the MACD, but we're underneath the signal line. Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is fairly flat at this point. So Boeing uh, kind of disappointed. It had uh, the last, it basically didn't have that good earnings, and that is also a big part of uh, this indice. And if that Basically, if that company basically is not doing very well, or their stock is not doing well, then this indice is not going to do very well either. Uh, but we're still in an uptrend, and the 20 exponential has been holding, and the 50 has also been holding down here at 32,750, give or take. So if this were to break, then there's quite a lot of support underneath. Uh, probably the long-term target here will be 35,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So Nasdaq also has been tra trading basically or trending um, sideways for quite a long time now. We can just write up this triangle. We have basically been in the lows here and uh, can get these highs even lower. The highs are roughly uh, 13,550 and the lows here of uh, 13,760. Uh, so a really uh, tight range and it's not until we basically break out of this to the upside or to the downside that we're going to see significant movement. We are a little bit uh, down at this point to 0 0.20% and not uh, anything uh, special but it looks like we are about to test the middle of the bullish band before going higher. If we were to break the middle of the bullish band we could drop towards the 50 moving average and that should offer a significant support as this was also previous resistant in the past. If you look at the weekly chart, for example, for the NASDAQ, we can see that we are, we have been at the very top of the bullish band. And usually when we get to the very top of the bullish band and round off, it falls back towards the middle. And the middle would be, uh, give or take, towards the 50 moving average in the daily chart, or at give or take for uh, 13,260, uh, give or take. So in the weekly chart, it looks like we are about to round off but we need a clear signal from from the daily chart or a break of the middle here in order to determine that we are going towards these levels either to the upside 15,000 will most likely be the target if we manage to break out from here to the upside so let's look at the german dax so german dax has rallied a bit today also here we are just uh, just hugging the, uh, the middle of the bullish band. We're trading at 15,451. 
Technically, the Gersh are, are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, CCI is the R stochastic is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So if we break the middle of the bullish band, we could drop towards the 50 moving average down here at 14,674. And that's probably as far as this will go, as we can see that the 50 has offered significant support in the past. Other than that, rallies from here, we will most likely go and target 16,000. So let's look at UK FTSE. And also here, we did rally up towards 6,980. Uh, three we're approaching seven thousand, but we pull back quite a bit so we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher if that breaks then we have the 50 moving average down here 6768 which will offer significant support target here will most likely be seven thousand first and then seven thousand two hundred and fifty and then beyond we are is still in the uptrend and it's a gradual uptrend there's Indice has a lot of catching up to do in order to get back to the previous highs but prior to the pandemic. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 has rallied today up towards the 50 moving average and um, it's not going to be until we basically break the 50 moving average and start trending above the 50 moving average that we'll see whether or not we are going to go much higher from here. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we have the 200 moving average here, and a break below the 200 moving average could open the door to the 16,000 level or the 15,000 level. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish in negative territory. The stochastic is flat. CCI is becoming bullish. It's still just on the at 24. We'll need to get above 100 in order to determine that we'll become bullish. And the RSI is at 51 at this current stage. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow our trades over at e and also copy your trades there. So, good luck and thank you very much.